We begin with the story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Only Eyewitness News is in court as a man accused of kidnapping and raping a 14-year-old girl faces a judge. Tonight, Lawrence Clay is being held without bail. This isn't the first time he's arrested either. We did some research and discovered Clay has a criminal record dating back over 15 years. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now live from Middletown with what she's uncovered. Well, police say that 14-year-old victim was kidnapped somewhere in this intersection overnight in Middletown on Thursday tonight. As you said, we did look into that suspect's history. We found out that his criminal record is dozens and dozens of pages long. A cursing 35-year-old Lawrence Clay of Providence is brought into Newport District Court, charged with kidnapping and sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl. He is also alleged to have sexually assaulted her and then just uh, left her on the side of the road. A disheveled Clay was surrounded by guards and had numerous outbursts in court. I didn't rape her and I didn't kidnap her. Middletown police say Clay kidnapped the 14-year-old in the area of West Main Road and Forest Ave sometime overnight Thursday. A gas station worker there says security cameras caught Clay getting gas prior to the alleged abduction. He came in here gassed up. She was, she was sitting over there. And this isn't the first time Clay has been charged with kidnapping. In Providence, back in 1995, he was charged with first-degree sexual assault and kidnapping, but pled out to second-degree sexual assault in the case. His sentence, six years with only 16 months to serve. This time, police say Clay took the victim to New Bedford and after the assault, left her there. School officials say that's where she flagged down two teachers who called for help. Friday night, Clay is being held without bail. And I did put a phone call in earlier to the Rhode Island Attorney General's office to ask why this suspect has pled out so many different times. I did talk to a spokesperson again from the Attorney General's office. He told me that all of those plea deals were done before they took office. Reporting live tonight from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom here in Middletown, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.